I thought today we'd talk about the business side of things with syndication, um, not the you know technical aspects of doing a syndication, but the business side of it. Uh, a lot of people are maybe coming from a background where they had a job, and so you know running doing a syndication um, is kind of a new thing, like the business side of it. Uh, and then as you start to grow that um, and scale, that's a lot of, for many people uncharted waters. So I thought we'd uh, ask you about that a little bit. So what would you say, like, where should people start with building their business? Um, are you talking about building a, any business or specifically for syndication? Well, let's, let's start with any business, I guess. <laughs> we'll do that. With any, yeah, I would say, you know, it's the beginning is always challenging because you want to understand First and foremost, you know, what the business is and what you're trying to get and what the goals are. And I think starting from the end, starting from understanding what the goals are can really help understand what resources you need, how many people you need to hire or partner. And when you're coming from a W-2 background, it's it, it can be challenging because you don't always have enough money to start hire a team. So how do you do that? You know, that, that's, uh, that's one of the things that I've been dealing with when I started, um, you know, syndicating. So, and I think it's, it's a good question because even a syndication is a business first and foremost. Um, and so first step would be to understand the goal. What are you trying to get? Are you trying to get just an additional income, you know, in addition to your W-2 job, which I've seen a lot of syndicators, you know, begin, or a lot of business owners begin this way where they say, you know what, I like the security and the surety of, <clears throat> sorry, getting, you know, this check every two weeks, but I want to do something else. Um, but I can just cut my, you know, my income uh, right now. So I'm going to do it on the side. And it does make sense on one hand. On the other hand, there's a limit to where your business, you know, how fast you can grow and how much money you can make if you're dedicating, you know, part of your time to building your business. So if you're willing to take the risk, I would say, let's do it. Everyone is in a different position um, in life when they, when they think about starting a business. But the, the very first thing is to understand what is your goal. And when you understand the goal, you know, okay, am I, as I mentioned before, do I want to create an additional income? And in that case, maybe you don't need other people. You can do it, you know, by yourself. Or do you want to grow and become you know, a million dollar company, a billion dollar company. And knowing that can really help you reverse engineer and understand, okay, what do I need to do today or this year in order to hit that, this goal in 10 years, for instance? Yeah. 